Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a Mark V Super, a car which I have always loved, despite what most people thought when these things were first revealed. I've always had a soft spot for one of these cars. Of course, fitted with the thunderous B50 out up here, of course, it is not stock. This is running an SRD Stage 2 Plus package, running just over 500 horsepower, I think 510 or 511 to be exact. Um, yeah, this thing looks absolutely stunning. It's gonna be actually transformed into a, maybe a bit of a track car as time goes on. But yeah, absolutely love these things and always a pleasure to get a B58 powered car on the channel. Of course, I am joined today with the owner Ward. We'll get him on camera in a moment, introduce him. He can run us around basically what he's done to it in the time that he's had the car. And then we're gonna go out for a spin in this 510 brake Mark V Supra. Okay, we're joined now with Ward, the owner of the car, mate. Thank you so much for bringing this thing down today. Uh, I filmed a couple of these now, but I'll never get bored of them. Yeah. <laughs> never get bored of them. I absolutely love them. There's definitely uh, a good following for them as well. Uh, they're getting pretty popular now in the yeah. in the scene, shall we say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've done some really nice mods to this, actually. And obviously, we've got the bonnet open. As we said, about 510 brake horsepower. 510, yeah. yeah. 511, technically. Okay, yeah. that on extra one. Yeah, yeah, got, got, done. got me done. Um, <laughs> so is that... Uh, a stage two plus did you say yeah so they, they call it like a stage two plus yeah. um so yeah five five eleven about 550 560 foot pound yeah um talk it's the classic b58 stuff really it's yeah. a downpipe tune i mean that's the main thing and then mm. Uh, we did a forged charge pipe and the uh, the actual dam pipes from SRD as well, so it was tuned at SRD. Yeah. Um, and then I feel like everyone does these blitz strut bars. I think it looks really good yeah. in the engine bay. The, the red secondary colour as well of that's the car. It. That's it, exactly. Which is pretty um, cool, but I mean, other than that, I mean, that's that's pretty much under the bonnet, isn't it? Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. We've got the, uh, got the arm speed intake. Oh, yeah, um, of course. Yeah, so yeah. That, the only reason I went for that was because it just sounds a lot better than, than the non-carbon stuff, like yeah. the MST ones, but... But I feel like, you know, power-wise, I don't think it added or took away too much. Yeah, hopefully. for sure. I mean, I've got an armor speed on the M3 over yes, there, actually. Exactly. Um, so yeah, I can vouch for that. Very, very nice sounding thing. Um, mm. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, you already have the Supra high pressure fuel pump, naturally, That's because it. it's a Supra. Yeah. Um, mm. And obviously, as well as that, you've done the gearbox software as well. Yeah, that was it. So we did a stage three XHP gearbox tune. Yeah. Um, did it at MK Performance. Yeah. So um, yeah, that I don't know why I'd wait that long to do it. I've had it for almost two years and I only did it about a month ago. Oh so, really? Yeah. So it's night and day, isn't it? Completely. Absolutely it's like a different car day. now, especially in, in full, like as they call it, race mode with traction off and yeah. in like sport. Fair play. Yeah. Um, as well as that, the cosmetics that you've done to this yeah. looks absolutely stunning. Thank There's you. a lot of carbon on it. Yeah. <laughs> and also the yellow DRLs, which to be honest, it's the first thing I, I noticed when I pulled in. I was like, that looks mean. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really it's a BMW, cool. right? So you've got yeah. to go for the CSL stuff. Yeah, there's going to be comments about that, isn't it? I'm, the BMW I'm, I'm Supra. waiting for them. But yeah. I mean, I really like them. I mean, these are from Illumo out mm -hmm. in uh, Australia. So they actually are RGB, so you can change them to any color. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I actually stuck with the yellow for sort of like day normal driving yeah uh, it's a bit of a party piece when i can switch yeah. the colors around nice as well as that as i said a lot of carbon yeah we've got a lovely carbon front splitter on the car kind of feeds around almost to, to like some uh, some canards as well on the on the corner yeah. of the bumper so i feel like this is a bit more of a unique piece now because this was from uh, r44 yeah i don't think they do these anymore oh, okay so uh, everyone that's been asking me about it i keep telling them go to r44 and they yeah. say well they're not selling them so oh wow okay i feel quite lucky i know yeah. there's only one other super good friend of mine who's got that as well so yeah. uh quite unique to have awesome yeah. standard wheels on the car in standard for now black yeah standard for now so uh hoping to switch them out soon yep but yeah i just went for a satin finish on them really like the design on those actually for standard wheels they're very nice <laughs> yeah yeah agreed yeah that's very why nice. i thought I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad if I just changed the colour and ran them for a bit. Yeah, you know, They that's do look it. pretty good. This, I love. Carbon wing, I suppose you could say, the carbon front wings. Yeah. Very cool. From uh, from Rec Speed. So, mm. uh, again, it was it, like it was one of those pieces where as soon as I saw them on, the, on a Supra in the States, I said, yeah. this has to be on mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get it. So, uh, thankfully, I managed to do those. And yeah. Adds some nice shape to the, to the front of the car, doesn't it? Yeah, it's almost like a fake wide body with that going like full on. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. I do like that, yeah. Awesome. And then moving around to the back, lovely carbon lip spoiler and some little kind of rear spats or canards on the yeah. back as well. Um, Exhaust-wise, is it just the downpipe you've done or is it...? Um, so no, that's a with bits cat-back system. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Stainless. Yeah. Um, again, 
currently as it is, I'm happy with it. I mean, it was one of the nicer sounding exhausts for mm. a stainless system at the time. Yeah. But as I'm sort of like growing into the car and, you know, thinking about more power potentially, I am okay. thinking about a custom one now. So yeah, fair enough. Um, fair enough. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never ending list as well. Never ending. Yeah. Um, suspension wise as well, it sits really well. Yeah, actually. so it's just uh, it's a H and R lowering springs. Yeah. Um, spacers, I can't remember the mil, but I think it's like fifteen and twenty mil. Okay. So fifteen yeah. at the front, twenty mil at the back. Yeah. It still mm. rides reasonably well, so because I use this every day. Yeah, um, fair enough. It still glides yeah. quite nicely on the motorway, but then when you yeah. go into sport, you still get the adapters. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, best of both worlds. Awesome. But yeah, no, it's always a pleasure to get one of these things on the channel. I do really, really like them. And of course, powered by the B58, an engine I'm very familiar with. But I think if that is pretty much everything, I think we'll uh, we'll get it fired up and, and go for a spin. Yeah, 100%. Let's do it. Brilliant. Makes it sound like an old school it, super almost. I didn't want to say it, but it does. That there. So that's the catback, isn't it? That's, Pretty much doing that's that. That's the catback, yeah. And then the SRD tune is is like this is yeah. a this is their like OEM Burble Plus map. Yeah. So uh, not too much. No, it's sort of like livable. Yeah. But yeah. then there is like a there is a bit of a naughty map that I like to use every now and then. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Which I'll do now. So this is the Ecutec like switchable map system that they yeah. put on. Oh yeah. <laughs> that sounds well, doesn't it? It does, yeah. <laughs> like with the with the traction on like semi race with the uh, Sport Plus, yeah, it it loosens it a little bit to make you feel like a bit of a hero, yeah. but it's still pretty uh, pretty grippy. Yeah, we well, got some massive tyres on the rear. Was it two nine five or something? I think so. Yeah, yeah. two nine five. But they're the standard widths. So, uh, mm. but for some reason, I like, I get quite a lot of comments saying that they look quite meaty. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. They look pretty good. More recently, I did the uh, I did the brakes, so I went to Gia by Luke. Yeah, yeah, I know Luke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we did EBC blue stuff uh, pads. Mm -hmm. We did uh, the Forge Motorsport braided lines, and then uh, just some motor racing uh, brake fluid. Yeah. Nice. Uh, obviously, just trying to get it ready for track because I didn't want any like brake fade and things like that. Of and course. I love how that sounds. Just can't get enough of it. I don't think I'll ever get bored. <laughs> the throttle right. response is incredible. Yeah, no, it's... Especially in Sport Plus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these cars have so much road presence. Yeah, it's like... like and that's what made me pick this over, you know, a similar B58 engine like BMW. Of course, yeah. Just because it looks so unique on the road. Yeah. And then with the right mods, it starts to look even better. Yeah. <laughs> I could just see the traction light just flashing, flashing constantly. <laughs> <laughs> it's that kind of car though, isn't it, where it just loves to be just thrown around. Yeah, 100%. It sounds so good though. Because, like, like, let's be honest, a stage two kind of B58 downpipe in a tune, you know what it's going to sound like. Yeah. This, I was not expecting it to sound this good. It, it's such a different tone, I think, and that's what, yeah. that's what makes me love it even more because yeah. it's not a standard sounding B58. Like, you'll hear an M140 send it. Yeah. And it doesn't quite sound like this. Mm. It, like, it does sound, like I said, quite jack. Being like a proper JDM boy at heart, yeah. this really just like tickles me like no. nicely. Yeah, <laughs> in the right places. Yeah, absolutely. It's what it's all about. But yeah, yeah. that yeah, it sounds incredible. And that, that intake really likes to yeah. blow off every now and then. Come <laughs> <Go> on. <laughs> Fast, aren't they? Yeah, that, that tune is 
just like game changer. Wow. <laughs> to kick out. It does, doesn't it? SRD, it's been just whatever gear, whatever revs, I put my foot down and it's just bang, yeah, it's absolutely. off. <laughs> but mate, thank you so much for, uh, for coming down and, yeah, uh, and taking me out on this. I mean, like I said at the beginning, these things are always mega fun to go out in. Yeah. No matter where they are at in terms of modifications, tuning, that kind of thing. Be interested to see how the build continues, though. Yeah, 100%. Um, and if you do want to learn more about the build, I'll leave Ward's Instagram link down in the description. <laughs> down below. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.